All right, for the video for today is a really brief, short explanation of our Explain Everything app. Now, some of you have used the actual Explain Everything app, some of you have not. So, uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking the PowerPoint that you guys are have created in your groups and put it on the Explain Everything app so that pretty much you have most of your video already done. So, in order to do that, you need to make sure that you have your PowerPoint slides created on your Google Drive, on your Chromebooks. One thing I do want to make sure you guys remember is a rule of thumb of five lines per slide. So meaning five lines of words. So you'll see we have one, we have one, two, three, four, five. So you can have a title, but then uh, five lines underneath that. And then up to seven words per line. Really the reason we're, we're doing this is that it's a rule, our rule of thumb, is to try to make sure that we're remembering that information on PowerPoints are supposed to be a summary, meaning just the basic information and then you're supposed to listen to the converse conversation or the discussion that goes along with the slides to help you gain in more information. Once your actual PowerPoint is finished, then you want to download, download the PowerPoint as a PDF. Because we are using an Apple product, um, it doesn't work well with PowerPoint because PowerPoint is a PC product. So we really want to make sure that we have it downloaded as a PDF. So on your Chromebook, you're going to select File, Download as a PDF, and then make sure you know the name of the file. Once you have it downloaded, I know this sounds silly, but on the Chromebook, we now need to upload that PDF into our, of our PowerPoint into our Google Drive. So I know it sounds silly that we had to export it or download it from our drive just to be able to bring it back up, but we're going to go ahead and put it in as a PDF. So how you do that is you're just going to, in your Chromebook, go to your drive and select Upload. And Upload is this little button right here. So that means the Upload button. You're going to go ahead and push that, and then when you push that, you, this uh, little icon comes up or this little file comes up. You want to select Files because it's a PDF is the file that we want to choose. And then you need to make sure that you're able to look for that PDF in your download file. All right. Once we have the PDF of our PowerPoint uploaded onto our Google Drive, we are now ready to start working with the iPad. So you need to choose your iPad that you used last week for our egg drop experiments. And we are going to be using the Everything Explain Everything app. So it looks like this right here. You want to go ahead and search to find that app. Those, some of you guys have used it before, some of you have not. When you get to that, those of you guys who have used it, make sure you select your project. Those of you guys who haven't, you want to make sure you select the plus button once you've opened it. Then what you want to do is you want to choose, and I know on here it says the fifth, fifth icon down, but we really want to choose the sixth. So I made a little boo-boo on here. We want the sixth icon. That's the one you want to choose next. All right, to demonstrate what I was just talking about, you're going to go down to the, it's actually the sixth icon, so it's right underneath the A. You're going to go ahead and select File, and then you're going to make sure that you have your drive open. So the bottom tab, it says Drive. Um, it's, I have a lot of stuff in mind, so I keep sliding until I see it, my item or my PDF. And I'm going to go ahead and upload it. And then you select Choose. Um, so then it'll go ahead and upload all of it. It will take a little while to be able to do that, um, but it shouldn't be very long. All right. Once this, uh, you chose the six icon, then you want to go ahead and select File. And when you select File, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to then see a page comes up. It looks like this. You want to select um, the Google Drive tab, and then you want to find your document. Mine is this one right here, so I'm going to go ahead and upload it. And when I do select it, um, you'll then get a slide that looks like this. And so what you want to do is you want to select the choose. So once you have your PDF of your PowerPoint, you want to choose that. Then once you have that step, you have your actual um, PowerPoint downloaded into the Explain Everything, you're going to then start recording your slides. So for example, um, you will see that down here, um, I have my um, recording buttons, so that's what you um, are going to use to record. So again, you'll see that right here. Um, kind of helps kind of figure out what uh, 
sections you're going to use or what icons you're going to use and you're going to go ahead and record. You can go around to change slides so you can hit down here you can change the slides that you're looking at or you can go ahead and stay on the slide um, but every single time you move on to a new slide you can go ahead and start recording so it basically will record anything on per slide. All right, it does take a little time for it to upload, so you'll notice that the next step is to actually start a recording. Once you actually upload the PDF and it's all there, your PowerPoint's there, then it's time to move on to the recording part. So the recording part is right down here. You'll notice that's the uh, buttons that we're going to be using. The actual um, little arrow, that's just to go backwards. You have the red button for your recording. You have the green uh, little arrow for playing it back so you can hear it and then you have um, the fast forward button. One tip if you notice that you make a mistake or anything else you can always go ahead and hit the reverse uh, button and then record over that and it will be able to record everything over so you will be able to um, if you make boo-boos you can go ahead and erase them and start all over for that particular slide. One thing I do want to make sure you guys are well aware, it records per slide. So every single time you're ready to move on to the next slide, you want to go ahead and make sure you hit the pause button, but then go ahead and um, hit the slide 7 or 11, which is usually in the left-hand corner. All right. Oftentimes with when you are doing your experiments, you want to have your slides already organized. But since we are working in groups and some people might be recording things at different times, some students might have it finished on Monday, they might have some time today to actually watch the uh, video and then actually start recording information. Some people may actually not be able to record it until Tuesday. That's what uh, the time is for in class. So you may actually decide as a group that you need to organize it. So again, how to organize it, you're going to look down at the bottom left hand corner. You'll see where slides and if you click on that, you can actually see the order of the slides and you can change them any way you want. If you just go ahead and highlight the slide, you could actually um, pick it and then possibly move it. In this case, I want to keep it where it's at. So that's just a way that you can go ahead and organize your slides. All right. One thing you do want to make sure is that you have your slides organized. Uh, typically, you do this before you actually start recording. But maybe, for example, you guys were decided that you wanted to change some slides in your PowerPoint, and so you, after you've done all your recording, you decide to go ahead and change that. What you're going to do is you're going to select uh, the actual bottom left-hand corner. You'll notice that there's right here, there is, it says slide 8 through 11. So this is my eighth slide. You can go ahead and select that, and once you select it, it allows you to be able to go ahead and see um, the different slides. After you have organize your slides, you have everything recorded, you want to make sure that as a group you review the slides and you listen to the entire presentation, so the entire video. You want to make sure that you guys all agree and that you make any necessary changes on the slides. So for example, I had a mistake on my one of my slides that said it was the upload button was the fifth step. As a group, if I were working with my group members and we went through that, we would realize that that needs to be changed and we can actually change it before going ahead and finishing our project. The whole point of this is for us to work together as a group to build an idea of what we want our project to look like and to make sure that we're really working on teamwork because this is a group project. Once the group has uh, gathered group consensus, and what I mean by group consensus, meaning everyone is okay with the way things are, they're, they're able to live with the project the way it is, then you're going to actually start working on uploading the project. So first we need to make sure that we have it saved. So again, to be able to make sure that you're saving it, you look at the uh, left hand or the right hand corner, bottom right hand corner, and it's the second icon from the bottom. You want to make sure that you have uh, saved your project because in order for you to be able to move on to the next step, you must have it saved. So make sure that you have that done. All right, the last and final step is to export our video. So once you've saved it, you want to make sure you select the third icon from the bottom right-hand corner. It looks like a little film strip. You're going to go ahead and select that button, and you want to make sure that you select the YouTube icon. So we want to select the YouTube icon, and you must sign into your Google Drive account. So if you haven't signed in by now, you need to make sure you go ahead and sign in and accept. 
Once you've done that, you just need to make sure you have your title uh, in there as well as a description and publish. Last thing before you finish up, make sure that you sign out. You don't want anyone to be able to get into your Google Drive uh, to mess things up or do anything on your Google Drive. So one thing you want to make sure you do is always double check that you've signed out of Google Drive. If you happen to have any questions, make sure you go ahead and ask and we'll get ready to start on Tuesday.